Well, it's election time, so here's an example. Have you ever seen that candidate that wins time after time after time? That's kind of how it's been for the Clinton girls. Over the last four years, if you didn't have an arrow on your chest, you may as well forget about it in track. And they're back, folks. But this time, the boys are joining them and not for second place. Stride to the finish line. Set, go. Some call it a dynasty. Others settle for great. Both terms would suffice, but for the last four years, when it comes to the arrows, the end of season title has been champion. It's most definitely a drive for five. Even though the girls have won four state championships in a row, this team does not want to be the one that did not win. Led by Alabama Crimson Tide signee Demi Washington and All-American DeAsia Miley, Saturday, Clinton's girls set out to win their fifth consecutive track and field title. Boys have never won. Yeah, 10 straight division titles. They've been runners up four times. State championships, zero. Relax, relax. They always have setbacks and injuries, so for us to bring one home, it would be really, really special. It's the most mature team boys I've seen in the 60 years I've been here. Go! This year, the girls aren't running circles around the boys. For the first time in school history, both programs won regional championships in the same season. And get this, the boys actually head to finals in first solo, a spot their female counterparts can't claim this year. I've been trying to push the boys because I know they've been working so hard for it, so I think they deserve it. Um, it's gonna be amazing if both of us win. First time winning anything, it'd be really nice. I might just cry. Yeah, the MHSAA Track and Field Championships begin Friday at Pearl High School with 1, 3, and 5A classifications, 2, 4, and 6A battle Saturday.